So on the second meeting, uh, we are going uh, to edit uh, the course settings. In the first meeting, we created uh, uh, an example course for all the participants. And uh, they are uh, here, uh, Debian Academy. And this is uh, a course for you. I created it uh, today because you are not present. Uh, this is a course for me. Uh, I, am put, uh, I am putting the name of the person, or the name of the teacher as the title of the course, but we are going to change it in this uh, course. So we are going to edit it. I'm going to edit my course and then uh, you will uh, edit your course as well. So this is what we, we are going to do in this uh, meeting. And then we will check the other settings of uh, a course, of the course, and we will see uh, the different options for course format and uh, course uh, layout. Uh, and then we will uh, look at the en enrollment uh, methods. There are several enrollment methods for the courses and we will uh, enable uh, self -er enrollment so that everybody that would like to participate in this course can enroll him himself. And I also would suggest that we uh, enable gu guest access since uh, we are interested in as many people as uh, possible to look at the content of the course, even if they cannot uh, participate. Uh, so we are going to look at, at the enrollment as well. And then uh, we, we are going to start editing the content content of the course. Uh, we will add a page for the description and may, maybe a page for outline. Uh, so uh, very, very simple steps. So uh, if you have your uh, Moodle op opened in the browser, then you can, you can access your course. I'm going to access my uh, course, which is in my name. So uh, uh, if, you, if you can open it right now, we have the settings option, uh, the setting uh, tab. So this is course, uh, uh, course full, full name. Uh, I'm going to uh, develop a course for uh, Debian Edu, and the title will be uh, Debian Edu uh, Training. So it will be a training about Debian Edu. This uh, course short name uh, is just a, a, a mem mem not, uh, it, it doesn't uh, have to be changed. Uh, the, uh, course category is uh, Debian Academy. It's okay for, for the time being. And uh, there are some other options. Uh, course visibility. Uh, we can make it hide for the time being. So uh, the people that will visit uh, the Moodle page uh, will not see this course. Since, since we are still developing it, then we can make it, we can make it hidden. After we have uh, 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 edit it uh, all the sections and we are ready to publish it then we can switch uh, this to, to show so uh, for, for this time we can set it to hidden and then uh, enable enable download course content of course it, it should be yes uh, and course start date and end date uh, we can disable end date uh, even uh, course start date. I don't know where uh, we can disable it. Maybe we, we should disable it as well. And uh, here the uh, course summary. But uh, let me first save this, and then I will go and edit it again. So now the title of the course is Debian Edu uh, Training, uh, and it is an empty course. You go again to the, to the settings, and I will start editing the uh, description, course summary. I'm going to write the description for my course. If you have a course in mind, then you can uh, write a couple of lines about the description of uh, your course. So, in this course, We'll learn how to install. You can also do this at, at home. If you uh, don't know the description of the course uh, right now, you are not sure how to describe it, you, you can do it later at home. 
So in this course, uh, we'll learn how to install and uh, sorry and maintain Debian Edu EDU. I'm going to call a virtual environment uh, on the cloud. We are uh, going to install main server. This is client. And also see. File. So this is enough for the course summary. And uh, le let me save it again. Save and display. So if I go at, uh, at home, uh, now, uh, there is this uh, course, Debian Edu Training. If I click on information, I will see uh, this description that, uh, or some summary that I uh, just wrote, and also the, the teacher here. And uh, let's go again to the settings. Uh, another important setting is this uh, format, format of the course. And there are several options. Uh, there is the topics format, which is the default one. There is the weekly format. Uh, this is usually more useful for uh, university courses. Uh, when you have, for example, uh, meetings, weekly meetings at a certain time. Uh, and uh, usually this topics format is more, uh, uh, more useful, I think. And this social format usually is just uh, just a forum, a discussion forum. And single activity format, uh, it contains just a single single activity. For example, a poll or something like this. So these two are not uh, usual courses. These two, these two are for uh, normal courses. And uh, the topics format is the the most uh, uh, the most common or the most useful one. If uh, I try, for example, weekly format, then uh, what are the changes here?
I say save. So if uh, in the weekly format, then uh, uh, it starts a week for each uh, topic. So uh, the the week from this date to this date, uh, the second week, the third week, and so on. Uh, okay. And this is more useful for schools and universities. For a normal online course, uh, it is more useful this uh, topics format. I'd like to see the first example too. Uh, so, single activity format. Yeah. What does that look like? Okay, single activity format, and then uh, the type of activity. Uh, and the activities are the. In, uh, So it can be a choice. Choice is like a, like a poll, I think. Uh, database is, is for collecting information. There are these are the available activities in Moodle. Those that are installed already. It can be a, a forum, or for example, uh, let let's say that uh, it is a choice, and say say then. Or save and, save and display. Oh, okay. So, uh, since we chose the activity options, that looks more like a survey. Uh, it is like a poll, actually, because it has several options option one, option two, and so on. Uh, not like, like a survey because it has only one question with with several options. A survey has several questions. Then it's more like a poll. Yeah, like a poll. And here uh, you describe the question and what uh, this is, the question goes here and here's the uh, the description and uh, things like like this. Uh, Let's say, for example, okay, horizontally, vertically, horizontally, okay. And then the options allow allow choice to be updated. No, allow more than one choice to be selected. Yes, uh, limit the number of responses allowed. No, option one. So these are the settings for the uh, choice activity or for the poll. Let's say save and display. So uh, if uh, we go to this course, so we are at home. Uh, we we go to this uh, let's say course. Then we just have this uh, activity. This is a poll. It is a multiple choice, and. I can say save it a choice. It it could have been any other activity. Uh, for example, it could have been a forum or or something else uh, from the activities uh, that are available in in Moodle. Uh, so let me change it uh, back to topics. Uh, source settings. Format, or uh, let's try this uh, social format. This social format, I think, uh, is a forum with uh, discussions and number of discussions. Then uh, appearance. Okay, these are normal options. Let's say save and return. So here we are at the course. So. It is a forum discussion one, for example. So 
So it is, it is just a single forum. And this settings. So let me change back to the topics format. And uh, in the topics format, we have these options. Uh, hidden sections are shown as not available or hidden sections are completely invisible, uh, completely invisible. So if uh, the teacher hides a section, then the students will not see it at all. Uh, it will not be like locked or unavailable or something like this. Uh, and then this this is another uh, important uh, setting, course layout. Show all, se all sections on one page and so, uh, show one section per page. Topics, uh, then uh, it makes more, se more sense or it is better to show uh, one section per page. If there are just uh, four or five topics or, or so, then it is better, I think, to show all, all sections uh, on one page. Sections are the topics. So uh, uh, let, let's try this one. Uh, one section per, per page. Let's say save and return. And we have topic one, topic two. So it has created some default topics, but uh, they are already hidden from students until we edit them and then we show them to, to the students. So we see one uh, one section per page or one, one topic per page in this case. Uh, if uh, we change it to the layout to all sections on one page, then uh, we see all, all the sections in the same page. Even if I go to topic two, still uh, the other topics or the other sections are still available. We are on the same page. What, what other options are there? Uh, appearance, uh, forced language, do not forced language. Number of announcement. Uh, show show grade book uh, to students. In our case, we don't uh, have any grade book, so we don't have to show uh, anything to the students for our courses because they are not uh, normal university courses or school uh, courses. Show activity reports. No. Show activity tapes. No. Files and upload. Uh, site upload limit uh, for gigabytes. Let, let's give it as the default. And completion tracks, enable completion tracking. No, there are no groups, and these are default settings. So, uh, we have just started uh, editing uh, the, the course. We changed the, uh, the title and also the description of the course. Now, uh, what else can we do? Now we will see the enrollment, how uh, the students will be enrolled, uh, en enrolled in this uh, course. And uh, for changing the er enrollment, we go to the section uh, part participants. And here, uh, for the time being, there is only one participant that uh, is the teacher and the man manager of the course. But uh, at, at this list box, we have this Enrollment methods. Enrollment. Enrollment methods. And uh, you see that there is available this uh, guest access and self enrollment students, but they are uh, disabled uh, with this icon. So uh, I am enabling this self enrollment and also enable uh, guest access. 
and uh, ma manual uh, add method. Okay, there are no other methods. Uh, ma uh, manual enrollments are uh, are done by the teacher, so uh, I can enroll students manually. Uh, I go to the list of participants and uh, add participants. And uh, self enrollment. Uh, let me make it the first one. So this is the first in the list. The So uh, I, I made this self-enrollment self uh, the first option. Uh, and then also uh, guest access can be the second one. And we can also see the settings for this en enrollment and this gear icon. A low existing enrollment, yes. A low new enrollment, yes. Enrollment C, use. This is for self enrollment. So if I enter an enrollment key, then the students can enroll themselves, but uh, they need to provide the key uh, so that they are allowed to enroll in this course. In this case, I don't give a key because uh, the enrollment is free. Every, everybody can enroll if they wish. Default assigned role. So. Uh, each user that is enrolled by himself uh, gets the role uh, student by default. Uh, enrollment duration. I can uh, uh, enable enrollment du duration and let's say that uh, uh, after 90 days they will be un enrolled uh, automatically. So they are enrolled uh, uh, by themselves, but uh, after 90 days they will be uh, unenrolled. Notify before enrollment expires. Uh, notify them, the, uh, the teachers and the students. Notification threshold, let's say in 10, day, 10 days before the expiration. Uh, start date and date. Uh, unenroll inactive, uh, inactive after. So if, if they are for 30 days uh, inactive, then they will be unenrolled uh, automatically. Max enrolled users, zero. Zero is un unlimited, or we, we can say 50. Max Second uh, course welcome message, uh, custom welcome message. We, we can also uh, set a welcome message, save changes. Now let, uh, let's see what we have for guest access. Logist access, yes. Password uh, without password, so it's okay. Uh, manual enrollment, let's see the settings. Enable menu, manual enrollment, yes. Uh, default uh, role, student, default enrollment duration, uh, let's say uh, 90 days. Uh, notify before enrollment expires, uh, now. Okay. So uh, these are the enrollment methods, and we can also cu customize them uh, here at, at these uh, settings. So uh, I I don't know if you uh, if you uh, had time to update your course, but uh, if if you had updated the enrollment settings set this page, uh, I would be able to uh, enroll into your, in, uh, into your course. So you, you can try to go to, to my course 
and uh, and see if you can uh, enroll yourself in, in this course so if you open this course in uh, in another tab let me send to the chat oops uh, so if you open this course in this uh, in, in another tab you should be able to en enroll to it uh, there should be an enroll uh, button and meanwhile i am looking to the participants here Uh, now we will see also, uh, we will start to edit the content of, of the course and uh, to edit the content. I, I was muted. I, I asked okay. the question. Now unmuted, if it's hidden, I might not be able to see it to sign up for it now. Okay, you are right. You are right. I, I have to, uh, to, to show it on the settings here. You are right. So, uh, can you try it again? Self enrollment, enroll me. Uh, okay. You are enrolled in the course. Okay, I see that you are already enrolled in the course. So self enrollment is working. So if somebody has an account in this uh, Moodle site, they can en enroll in, in this course. The enrollment is open for, for them. Okay. And I guess also if uh, we are, uh, if somebody looks at it as a, as a guest without logging, logging into the course, they should be able to, to see or to access the content of the, of the course. Uh, le let me try to log out and see whether I can access it. Log out. And I'm going to this course. And uh, there is a button uh, here, login as a guest. And so I already see the content of the course, but uh, there is not much to see yet because there is this choice that uh, we created before. And just this social forum, we, uh, I can delete them because. So can... anyway, back to the back to the course, I did both parts. I selected a choice of other and I went into the forum and I said, and I made a reply. Uh, sorry, we, where did you make a reply? To the, to the social forum. Yes. Okay, but uh, we created this accidentally uh, while trying the other uh, the other forms of the of the course. So I'm going to delete this forum and this uh, uh, question right now. We will start. To, okay, or I can delete delete them later. So uh, for the time being, uh, I'm just uh, going to create a, a page here uh, that des describes the the course. So. Uh, I will uh, create a, a page for the that, that describes the course. So I'm here uh, to to start editing the uh, the content of the course. There is this uh, switch button here that uh, will switch the editing mode. In this mode, uh, I can. Uh, change, uh, for example, the order of these activities, or I can delete them or hide them. For the time being, I'm hiding them. And uh, I can change the uh, the topics, uh, the, the title, title, etc. But for, uh, okay. for now, delete the uh, delete the choice as an example, but leave the forum. Okay, uh, I'm deleting the choice. And uh, now I'm going to add uh, uh, another uh, another resource. Uh, clicking to, to this button, 
going to resources and I'm going to add a page resource. Let's see the information for the page resource. So the page module enables a teacher to create a web page resource using a text editor. The page can display text images and so on. So it is just a page, an HTML page. And uh, the name of the uh, page is uh, description. This will be the description of the course. And uh, the, the content of the description can be pretty much the same as the one that we uh, set on the settings. Let me open the settings here and do it with copy paste. And uh, I, since there are not a lot of topics, I also show the description on the main page. So it will not have just the title description and then the student has to click on it in order to see the content, but it will be displayed right on the main page. And uh, the page content can be the same as this one. And appearance, display page uh, description, display last notified date. A common module settings, uh, show, show on course page. Okay. Yes. Uh, save and return to course. So now you see that we have this uh, course description uh, in the in the page of the course. Even if I click this description, the, uh, the content is the same. So description, edit it and call it introduction. Uh, yeah, it, it can it can be called introduction as well. But uh, the introduction means that it is part part of, part of the course, uh, and maybe this goes into the layout of the course. Uh, of, for example. Uh, in this uh, outline outline of the course. So in the out, outline of the course, uh, we can have uh, one part introduction or or something like this. Anyway, uh, introduction is okay as well. And uh, we, we can also create a, a page uh, layout, course layout, which means, for example, that we will have three meetings. And in the first meeting, we are planning to do this and that. Uh, in the second meeting, we are planning to do this and that, and so on. Um, uh, I don't have yet the details uh, for the outline of the course that I am creating for this Debian Edu training, so I am going to complete the uh, details later. But uh, let me just create a page called uh, Outline outline of the course and just save and require okay let's say that uh this will be a three meetings uh course meeting and third meeting and uh, this is small heading also this one is a small heading and in the first meeting uh, Install the main server and then
And so uh, we see that the outline is not uh, displayed here. Uh, we we need to check this. Go to this one to the settings. Uh, okay, this is the page content. Uh, we copy this this one. Uh, to the description of uh, this page. And then I click this one, display description on course page. And uh, now the description of, of this page is displayed because you see, th this is a small uh, course. It doesn't have lots of sections. It just has uh, a couple of sections. So it is better to display ev everything on the, on the first page uh, of the course. Uh, instead of uh, just ha having people to click on the page and then see the content. So, uh, I guess th this is for this, uh, for this meeting, for the second meeting. So, this is what we had planned uh, to do. Uh, if uh, people are watching this recording, sorry? And you just add four more types just to fill it out so it looks like it's more there. Uh, but we are going to work on it uh, on the on the third meeting as well. We are going to, to add the big blue button uh, meeting and uh, we will add a forum uh, announcement or a DP yeah, at least. Just add three more topics of various types to just to demo them. Okay, yes. Uh, first of all, we already have uh, three, four, four topics, but they are uh, hidden uh, from the students. So okay. I can just uh, show the topic and uh, also show this one. Okay, now uh, time is an activity. But uh, we can also add topics with uh, these links, add, uh, add topic. So let's say that this is topic one this is topic two let's add topic uh okay it, it has ordered them autom automatically but let's call this first topic for example and uh click, i'm clicking to this uh, uh pencil icon uh second topic And and the rest are hidden. And to add activities at the end of each topic, there is this uh, button here: add an activity or resource. And the first topic already has uh, this activity uh, announcement. Actually, I think that uh, this announcement sh should go to the general uh, section. So I'm just uh, dragging it, or maybe it is better with this uh, tool here, uh, move. And uh, I'm saying move it here. So it, it goes the... the, the first one. And uh, this topic general, uh, I can call this, uh, for example, activities. And, uh, here I'm going to group all the activities, for example, forum, a big blue button uh, meeting, and so on. And uh, I will call the second topic uh, details. And here in the details, uh, I will uh, send this introduction or uh, description of the course. It's more easy. If you have a big screen, you can drag and drop it, but my screen is small because I've made uh, also the font uh, bigger. So with this move tool, it is easier. So I moved it to, to this section and also I'm going to move this one as well. 
to the details section. So the description should be before the, the outline. Okay, the description is in front of outline. So uh, le let me see how this uh, looks. First of all, disable editing, and then I say uh, switch role to switch role to student, for example, and it shows me how it looks to a student. For example, it doesn't show the hidden uh, topics or the hidden activities. So I have this section activities where there is this forum announcement and actually this hidden forum and the details has this uh, description and uh, outline uh, pages so i i guess this is uh, enough for this uh, meeting and uh, we will continue editing the content of the course on the third meeting as well. Okay. Uh, if you if you want, I, I I can show, for example, how to uh, convert. How do I convert a recorded uh, meeting to a video for uploading it, for example, to Let's YouTube do or to? Thing. Let's do one more thing because it is a topic for the second meeting. Show me. A text file with five students in it in a comment separated value format and import one. So, oh, yes. Uh, so we can uh, test, for example, in, uh, registering students manually, but uh, I'm not sure if the, if the teacher can do it. Uh, maybe only the admin can uh, register. Enrolling them, yes. For example, okay, I'm a teacher in this course. Maybe I should be a manager as well. But you said a teacher could enroll students from a rock. From a uh, yes, uh, yeah. It, it seems uh, not possible. To, there is no option to enroll. Uh, okay, okay. I, I'm in the student role. Uh, return to my normal role. Oh, okay. Uh, enroll, there is this button, enroll students, this one as well, enroll, enroll users. Uh, let's say that uh, I'm enrolling, um, I don't remember the names, but, uh, let's see here. And the participants. These are the participants of our course. For example, uh, let's uh, enroll Russell. Uh, I start uh, typing something from the name and it shows me the list. I select one and then uh, I assign a role. It is, it is a student by default and role users. So these are the users that, that are already uh, re registered in the model. They, they, they are Moodle users and they are, uh, I am enrolling them. Uh, so I guess uh, this is ma manual enrollment. So the, the student is enrolling users. And uh, self-enrollment is that the, the students can enroll th themselves uh, in this course. And also guest, guest access is that a student or uh, a person uh, who, who is not logged in in the Moodle, a visitor, uh, can at least uh, most of the content because uh, some content uh, requires that you are registered in the course. So uh, this is a manual en enrollment. Okay. So show me how to uh, post the recording or whatever, uh, okay. so you can see it. Yes. Uh, so 
if we go to the meeting section, this is the recording of uh, the last uh, meeting. So I go here. And uh, if I click this button, then it will start to play. Now, uh, I want to convert it to a video, uh, MP4 or uh, WebM uh, format, so that uh, I can upload it to Peertube or to YouTube. Because uh, right now, uh, what Big Blue Button says is separate uh, streams. For example, this is the webcam stream, and uh, this is the screen sharing, and and also the the presentations, the PDF. Uh, but it, it converts them to images. So this is the uh, screen sharing and presentations, and this part here uh, is uh, the chat. Uh, now, in order to convert it, I just record my screen. I start playing and I record my, my screen. For example, let me uh, separate this as, a, as another tab. Uh, I move it uh, to another window, uh, to another desktop on my computer. Uh, I'm back here. And I make also, I make it full screen. Uh, now, before I start uh, the, the button to, to play, uh, this, I, I start recording it with, uh, with Kazam. Kazam is a tool for recording your, uh, your screen. Let's see. Uh, let, let me try to Kazam. And uh, it is actually very simple. Uh, either you can uh, make a screenshot or a screencast. Sc screencast is recording your screen. So I'm selecting screencast. And then for screencast, uh, either full screen or a window or a certain area. I've tried with the window, but I don't know. Maybe it is just my computer. It, it didn't work uh, we we very well. The, the quality was, was not very well. And with full screen, it, it works better. Uh, and the mouse cursor is recording my mouse here. I, I don't want to record my mouse. Sound from speakers is the sound that comes from the computer. Sound from microphone is the sound that comes from, uh, from my microphone. I don't want to record myself. I just want to record uh, the sound that is coming from uh, the recorded uh, presentation. And then, uh, seconds to wait before capturing five five seconds so it will uh, count to five and then it will start uh, recording the, the screen i click uh, capture it will start uh, counting i go here i wait a couple of seconds and then i press uh, the button play and i i, I can make this full screen uh the screen sharing but actually right now there is uh, there there isn't anything uh import happening in, in this uh so i i can switch i can switch this uh the screen come with this one and make this one full screen and then it will record this part the webcams So right now the important thing is happening here on the on the screen share. So I just make it full screen, and then and then it will it will uh, record this uh, the screen sharing as full screen. Or if there is a part there that there are more discussions, then I I can switch uh, these uh, webcams as the main part, and then make this one full screen for the discussions. And uh, at, at the end, uh, I, I have to, to press this uh, finish recording. And it, it creates a file on my, uh, on my system. Uh, I, I don't remember uh, the setting where in, in which directory it, uh, sa it saves it. So, that's how I convert the presentation to uh, to a video. I, I play it on my screen, full screen, and then I record my screen. 
and at the end uh, I, I get uh, the um, uh, uh, video. Okay, go ahead and stop it because it would take a long time to do that again. Yeah, I stopped it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, show me how you now submit the new file you created to PeerTube. Uh, it is easy. I just upload it on peer, peer tube, the general social, and I, I have uh, where are uh, my channels. I, I've created a channel, uh, Debian Academy. This is the Debian Academy. And then I just click publish. Uh, okay. Select the file to up upload. I, I will publish it in this channel, Debian Academy, uh, privacy. Let's say unlist it first. Uh, select file to upload. Uh, I will find, find where it was uh, uh, saved. I think it is uh, this one. I'm and Shazam runs on what platforms and is it free or what? Sorry? And Kazam runs on what platforms? Windows, Mac? No, 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 no it is, uh, I'm not sure if, uh, if it is available for Windows, but uh, in Linux, yes, it is available. I, I'm using uh, uh, Linux Mint, which is, uh, uh, okay. which is based on Ubuntu, yes. It should be available on Debian as well. I think uh, it is actually an old uh, tool, uh, but it, it works well. It is simple and it, it works well. So uh, what is the date? Okay, this is according to the date, this should be, uh, this, this should be the, the one. Yeah. I set up a PeerTube account in addition to a Matrix account. And I also set up a, um, mastodon account all within the last two weeks but i've yet to pu publish a video because i've yet to create a video i've created some audio stuff and uh a long time ago i did create a a video of me driving my car with a dash cam to youtube so i knew how to do that okay uh now uh, 